Welcome back to an extra special challenge video, Fishing Freaks. Thanks for being here, thanks for subscribing to the channel. If you like what's going on here, you want to support, make sure to share this video. There's nothing to not like about today's video. It's tiny top waters, it's extra small line, it's tiny whippy rods, it's competition, father, son, it's all goodness, guys. So let's just roll right into it. Step one to any fishing day is to go find some fish. Let's go get on them. Now the areas we've been catching these smallmouth this week have been around islands, backs of these pockets that have boulders, they have transition banks that have some pea gravel on them. Some fish are spawning, some are just feeding up. But the main thing is, on these top waters, it's a lot of fun, but you gotta pause them for a little bit, and they're kinda territorial, they'll come up and smack it. We're using these Yampa Rivers. You basically can't do anything with a one pound smallmouth. So a three pound smallmouth is gonna be very interesting. You're gonna catch bigger fish than I am. Wow. Up until the last one. Oh, well you only need that one. It's all about the one today. I'm giving dad just a fair chance. Maybe you get lucky. Everybody gets lucky one time in their lives. Could be the key to winning or losing right here. This uh, rod can't set the hook too well, so hooks have got to be sharp. You know, Playing on winning this sucker? Yeah, I, you know, I ate the worm last year and I'm not doing that again. <laughs> nope. How was that? Can you re give us a recall of that worm action? Well, you know, the worm was, uh, first of all, it was about that long and it was a big meaty worm. It's the kind they use up here walleye fishing. And it was, it was kind of muscular, you know, it was, it was not, you know, juicy and soft. Not something you want to do again? No, 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 I'm not eating it again. I thought about it for about a month and I don't want to do it again. I think dad's a little scared. I think dad is scared he's going to have to eat that worm again. We're not going to do the worm, guys. We did it last year, so we got to come up with something different. What's something very Canadian? Uh, geese? Here's what we're gonna do. Cold hard cash. 50 bones. I need $50. Cause you're in your 50s. That's why we're doing 50. Or are you 60 now? How old are you? I'm in my 50s. <laughs> <laughs> it is Father's Day week and uh, I just wanna say happy Father's Day to dad. Before we get into serious competition and uh, I kick your butt, I just wanna say happy Father's Day. I'm glad we're here doing this. It's a good tradition. It is a good tradition. Thank you. And I'm going to kick your butt this year and you're going to give me 50 bucks. Okay. So let's see what happens. Yeah. This is the other challenge is casting these things. Yeah. You won't know, but I've been practicing. Have you? I've been practicing my whole life. I've been practicing since I was three. Just for this moment. The drag setting is, a, you know. It's kind of important with four pound test. Got him. Come to Papa. Uh oh, he's got me in the rings. Mm -hmm. Come on out of there. Oh, yeah. It's a little tiny one. He's the heck tiny? are you talking about? He's not tiny. He's thing hasn't even grown a sack yet. He's, look at him. I'm gonna catch a 19. I don't know if I can get the thing in. Oh! Came off! Came off! Man, can't even land a tiny one. Just such a promising ah. start. Well, look at these massive hooks. I mean, you know. That's called, just called angling. You gotta see the angles and attack. Get used to it. At least I had the, the tug of the line. Get on the scoreboard. Loser mentality. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just get something. Got one. Yep. Ah, ah, woo! Come to Papa. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Come to Daddy. Come on now. The problem here is it's another little one. It's yeah. He's little, but. They're not easy to get in with these rods. Can he do it? 
Always got the line on the side of the boat. Oh no! He's got his line all twisted. This is where angling is key. Yeah, you landed one. Yeah. That's good. Well, you got to put it on the board. Might be a good 13 incher. Is that your strategy? Yeah. You just try to go for mediocrity. I just want to oh gosh! Oh, that was a big one there. Oh, he's gonna come back and smack it. Tell you what, this fish right here is definitely gonna beat that one you got. We'll see. Time to measure up. Oh yeah, I got a witness with you because. Okay. Oh, he's, I got mine. He's 14 inches. He's 14. All right. I didn't see it, but I'll oh, I'll just trust you. 14, I got a little one. I'll take it though. Come on now. Got to have my first one. It's taking you a long time. Oh well, sure. It's a strategy thing. I mean, you're not just gonna come up here and lift these suckers. Okay. Okay. He moved into the lead. He is going to be 13 and a half. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes! <gasps> Got one under it. Good one. He's going to suck it. You son of a... Don't hit me hitting my rod either. Sorry about that. No, you're not. Glad you're... Not. Oh, hey, that one just tried to eat my line. I'm gonna win this game. You got one on yours. It's not as big. Oh God, it is a big one, actually. Maybe if I just, oh my God, he's got it. No. Yeah! No! Yes! <laughs> Did you see how long it took him? Oh God, it's a big Woo! one. It's yeah. a big one. Oh, no! He came no! off! Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, yes. He come out. He oh yeah. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh. That, that was a that was a toad. <laughs> yeah. I thought I had him when he came up and he stayed on. Sorry about you. Oh my oh. gosh. Oh, that one came off too. Oh, he smacked it. Jeez. I did not oh, want to read it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, as exciting as that was. I mean, it's to be expected when you're throwing this setup. Setting the hook, that's really the, that's the hard part. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to it's know It's like, how do you do. set the hook? Yeah. Oh, I've got a swirly. You got one? Oh, you do. Oh, baby. It's just sitting there. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> oh, got, got it. Oh, came off. Couldn't get a hook set. God. Who's still in the hook? Oh, that would be me. Hmm, keep, keep talking. Got him. Good one? No. Uh, had it down like Charlie Brown. That is small. Yeah, that's like a 12. Think he's a 15? I hope so. 13, he's a little under 14. Doesn't help. Mm, okay. Starting to get into those nice juicy boulders. There's like a certain depth when you see one, you just know, ooh, that's, that's gonna have one. This could be a lead changer. Not sure. What is it? What's the exact? 14? Yep. That sounds like a roundup to me. Well, we Ate it like a champion. But no, he ain't gonna take the lead. <sighs> 13 and a half, not gonna do it. I had one chasing it. Oh, there's another one right there. Just saw him. Oh yeah, no, they're all biggins. Oh, he broke me off. He just... I had to try to set the hook. Oh, I still got the lure. The lure's still there. I was like, I'm tired of seeing these three pounders eat it and not catching them. I never saw you measure your fish. And I know how you like to measure them, so. I did measure him now. 
Are you are you calling foul on your dad? <sighs> Oh. oh! Yeah. Gosh, dang it. Got it. Oh! Break him off? No. Just need that one Maverick little smallie. Just, just like a 16 would do. It's their jaw pressure that's the problem. They, they get their chompers on it and then you can't. Pen penetrate the hook into it. Watch out. This might be the one. This could be the one. Get off, dude. Oh, that's a good one. Don't jump. Don't do it. Look at it. Look at what he's spitting up. That's a doozy. You jump. Come here, baby. Four pound test. Never gonna get this is a crucial moment. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. You ready for this? Yeah. Let's see what it is. I think it's a 16. It's almost a 17. That is a. Uh, 16 and three quarters right there. It's bleeding a little bit, so I'll let it go. Okay, you gotta beat 16 now. Let's see you, dude. Oh gosh. I mean, that wasn't a big one, but on this stuff? Yeah, on this? It's like, oh man. I don't know how you control it. He just had to, they just have to eat it. Oh, well, there's another one on it. Oh my gosh. It's been a stiff competition. The tables have turned on old LFD. 16 and three quarter inches guys let me tell you that is not an easy fish to get in on that yampa river at least a dozen bites good bites i know that are two and a half three pounders that i haven't been able to hook some have been upwards of four that i just cannot get the hook in them they shut their mouths down on it and so there's that delicate balance that's why it's a challenge ultralight challenge we got to put a time limit on this should we do it when whenever ted Ted and Drake and Steve, whenever they come over, then time's up. The other thing that's super challenging is the wind. The wind trying to throw these micro poppers or little hula poppers is very difficult. We're in an aluminum boat trying to cast. It's, I was more pumped when I caught that one than I was than any of the other ones here because I just enjoy beating you, Dad. Well, it's good. you haven't beat me yet. Come on, baby. Oh, Woo! gosh. Uh-oh, it's getting me in the rocks. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Come oh, on. that's a good one. No. I feel like I should be casting. <laughs> so I might need, I might need. Oh, I got one. Oh, I got one, too. Oh, yeah. We're doubled. We're doubled. I think mine's bigger. Mine's bigger. <laughs> Look at mine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's part of the challenge. You have to adapt and overcome. Oh. Oh. Come here. I need you, little fish. Yes. Yes. Okay. Doubled up. First of all, awesome that we both got that at the same time. Micro poppers. Mine's definitely bigger. Oh, yours is bigger. Woohoo! <laughs> they choked them too. They did. Man, that was so fun. I know. Woo! Did you see my jump, jump, jump? I mean, it was unbelievable. 
Okay, put it on the board. Let's see what it is. Fifteen point one. I'll give you fifteen and a half. You got to pinch the tail. That's a great fish. It's not gonna beat this one. That's a seventeen. Seventeen and a half. On the micro pops. <laughs> Woo! All right, we got to get a release on these guys. Yep. Dad, I don't think it's gonna cut the mustard for you. But nope. hey, good job. Let's get back in there. I think that might be the game winner right there, though. See you, baby. Ah! Hey, I'm gonna get one. They, they, it's not over. That's right. They're biting. It's not over. I thought mine was bigger, but yours was. Because you like to exaggerate a little bit. I had boat shrinkage. You <laughs> had boat shrinkage. That's right. It's not that I'm trying to tell a story. It's, I just think they're bigger. Goodness. It's a prime looking spot. My goodness. This is it. There, I hear them behind me. Just wave them off. <laughs> LFD. Is that you? Is that LFD over there? <laughs> LFD just got beat. Oh. That's it. Oh. That's it. Defeat. You were the, the ending bell. In other words, when you spoke, yeah. you were the ending bell. <laughs> we duped it out hard. I must uh, pay homage and pay money, I guess. That's right. Don't worry about the homage. <laughs> worry about that 50 bucks. As a nice father-son gesture, when my dad went to pay me, I gave him the money right back. Why? Because he's my dad. He got me into fishing. He's awesome. It was the right thing to do. And even though we didn't catch any giant smallmouth, they were still nice quality smallmouth. It was a huge fight on that tiny little rod. That's what made today so fun. Such a great challenge. Let me know in the comments what you would want to see in another challenge video. What type of tackle, lures, etc. It could be anything, guys. Let me know. If you're really digging the channel, you want to support the LFG brand, links will be at the end of this video and down in the description for all the shirts and hats. And as always, guys, thanks for being with me out here in the wilderness. God bless you. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you on the next video.